Hi artists, welcome to our Wacky Wednesday drawing today. I'm not going to tell you what we're drawing quite yet, but it's a little wacky. So when I think of wacky, I think of silly. And when I think of silly, I think of monkeys. So today we're going to do a picture of a monkey wearing headphones listening to music. That's gonna be our little wacky drawing of the day. I'm going to start in the middle of my paper with a really, really, really big smile. There we go, a huge smile. And I'm going to finish that off on the top. There we go. And I'm going to give this smile a couple little lines to show the cheeks. Now, this monkey has a mouth full of bright white teeth. I'm going to start with a line down the side, right inside the mouth. And I'm going to bring it the whole way across. Now notice I curved that line a little bit and that makes it look like the teeth are curved back. I'll do the same thing at the bottom, two lines. And this time I'm going to curve my line down a little bit so it looks like the teeth will come together. Right in the middle, I'm going to do two little bumps to show the tongue in the mouth. Now, I want to give my monkey some actual teeth. At the top of the mouth, right here, I'm going to do a bumpy line um, that looks kind of like a wave, and these bumps are going to be going down, almost like the letter N. So, just a few bumpy lines all the way across, and at the point of each of those lines, I'll draw a straight line down and that will show each tooth. There we go. I'll do the same thing at the bottom, but this time my bumps are going to go up. So they will look more like waves, little tiny waves at the very bottom. And at the top of the point, a line straight up. Now he has a mouth full of teeth. At this point, I'm going to draw another really big smile underneath that first smile, all the way down to show the chin. And I'll curve it over on the corners again to show the cheeks. This time, I'm going to connect these two lines, not with another little smile, but with a line that goes the opposite way, more like a mountain. A big bump that comes up and over. I need to give our monkey a nose right about here. A line down and a line down. Two little curves and then I'll give him some nostrils. There we go. Now it's time for the eyes. Up above that curved line, that mountain I just drew, I'm going to draw a line that comes up and down, up and down, like a candy cane. Same thing on this side, up and down, like a candy cane. I have a little space in the middle. I'm going to fill that with a little bump. There we go. Inside this shape I just drew, I'm going to draw an upside down U, a really big one. And another over here. There we go, it's looking a little bit better. Now it needs some eyes in the middle and this is where the oval comes in. Nice big oval here. And another one there. Now to add the eyeballs and this is where you get to decide where's your monkey looking? Is he looking straight at you? Is he looking up in the side? Uh, maybe he's looking in two different directions. Maybe it's a really wacky monkey. So maybe my monkey is going to be looking off to the side. So I'll start with a circle and a small circle inside. Another circle and a small circle inside. I notice when I color in that little circle, I leave a little bit of a white in the middle and that shows the sparkle or shine in the eye. Right here in between the two eyes, I want it to make it look like Almost, this is a, a ridge, almost like a big eyebrow that comes over. So I'm going to put three bumps. One, two, three. 
There we go. All right, now I'm running out of space at the top, so it looks like my drawing is going to go off the top of the page. Not a big deal, remember, we don't have to squeeze it in. If it goes off, it goes off. It just means that we're really close to the monkey. Starting at the side, um, right about where this cheek is, I'm gonna put a line right here, and this line is going to come up and over. This is the furry part of the monkey's head. So I can make it a little zigzaggy. You decide how furry your monkey's going to be. Mine's just a little bit, but maybe it gets a little bit longer at the top. Up here, and a little longer, and if you see, I had to go off the page, I ran out of room. Now, I think my monkey's going to be listening to some music. So I'm going to put some really big headphones on him. And I'll start by making a rectangle right here, a really skinny rectangle. Same thing on the other side. And then a big bump. He has really big headphones. Now, of course, these headphones are going to go over the head. So I'll draw my two lines side by side that go up. If I had extra space, I would go right off and make a huge curve the whole way around. But since I ran in the room, it, the lines just go off the paper. Now you can decide if your headphones have the cords that come down or if they're cordless, you choose. I might add the cords on mine. I just like the look of it. There we go. So the cords will come down. And I don't want to have my monkey's head just floating here. So he needs a neck and some shoulders. Two little lines for the neck and then the shoulders will come over. There we go, he's kind of a little monkey. And if you wanna put a shirt on him or um, you know, dress him up, you can still do that. Maybe I'll have my monkey wearing a bow tie. There we go. And the shirt comes down. All right, so my monkey's all dressed up. One more detail you can add if you like. Maybe add some music notes to make it look like there's music coming out of the headphones. This is where I need Mrs. O's help, so she can tell me the right notes to make. All right, so I think I have all my music notes, I've got my headphones. Now it's time to add color. Since we do have a Wacky Wednesday monkey, you can make your monkey any color you want. If you want your monkey green, make it green. If you want him purple, make him purple. If you want him brown, that's okay too. You're the artist, you get to choose. I hope you enjoyed our wacky drawing of the day. I'll see you again tomorrow.